Welcome to Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, the arena of the supernatural, where supernatural is natural. Our vision is to bring Christ's abundant life, knowledge, and hope to Inanda, then to the whole world, in the form of preaching, teaching, holistic gospel, healing, deliverance, counseling, training, and discipleship. Here we go. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, Jesus is Lord. That single belief calls us together as a community and sends us into our world with hope and purpose. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, your past will never define your future. There is always redemption, which means there is always a brighter day. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we do not think that we are better than any other church out there. We are just doing our best to become our best. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we want you to believe in God, but also we want you to know that God believes in you. We are not against any people who do not attend church anywhere. Instead, we pursue them with love, the very same love that is pursuing us. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we are committed to serve God and people. We take ownership and account for our decisions, answerable or accountable as for something within one's power. We do what we say we will do. We are learning to serve God with all our hearts and we are learning to worship Him with all our lives. And if you are looking for the perfect church, we are not it. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we will make mistakes, but we will choose to grow from them. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we are part of a global community that is knit together by the resurrection of Jesus. And by the way, at Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we believe that really happened too. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we will engage with people who are in real need because we are the hands and feet of Christ. And finally, we need you to hear this loud and clear. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, it's not our church at all, but it is His and we live and move and breathe in His church for His glory and fame and not for ours. So there's the invitation. You are invited to jump in with your whole heart at your own pace and experience the life that awaits you in Christ. Friends, this is going to be good. Welcome to Mount Zion Carnation Ministries from Dr. Swanem Somi and Tabisilam Somi. Anything to send on them. But we can't even believe in him when we we even pray and we even pray and we still feel this, but we still doubt it. People feel nothing when they're carrying this person. He says, now we're entering into the house and they'll put him inside. And and now, they're going to the funeral home. 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 I can imagine they can only feel the one from the house and not the pastor. I'm just speaking the truth, things that I've seen. And then when he gets to the grave, he'll be dead. Then he goes down. Even this branch goes down. This is your transport. It'll end where you are now going to end as well. After a month or a year, now he's going to be fetched again. Who are we fetching? We are fetching a blind man that can't see the way anymore. That you need to tell where to go. Why are we fetching him? How can you ever be guarded by a blind man? I'm just asking a question. How can you be guarded by a blind person. You yourself, you were with him Friday, telling him the whole way. 
Usuya ilanda manje month later. Now you're fetching him a month later. Utaizo kata like I. To come and guard you in the house. Ukato anja anu muntu katu. Gato futu yom landa la pan. You have to go and fetch this person in the grave. Ubutaka zongena like I. Azo kata. To come and enter into this house to protect you. Why did he not come himself? Atayifige leza gata lawa ni zo kata like I. And he says I've come to guard my house. Ayikite zongena like I. Ngobasa kufigeti. Nothing is going to enter in the house. It's my figis wagali presence. When it comes you must feel its presence. But that doesn't happen. Still see I'm land. We still go and fetch. For him to come and protect. And I say expensive ganje na mhlanje. It's very expensive to fetch him. You say income. He is now he costs as much as a cow. For him to come here and protect this house. We have to call everyone. To come and protect this house. My when he's coming to protect the house. Then the problem starts. When you start to go and ask. When there's now problem. Now they say you brought the wrong person. They know that you have no idea what's going on in the house. They'll say you brought the wrong person. Can I ask? Did you verify that this was the right person? Where do you even verify that this is the right person? They say the one who is in the is now standing outside with his back face to us. Then you go and fetch the right one. I don't know what happens to the one who is the wrong person. And when you brought that right person, they, they, know, they said the one that you put is the bad ancestor. Is a good and a bad ancestor. You brought the bad ancestor. This ancestor is going to end you. Fetch a cow. Then you go to Capitec to look for money. And go and buy another cow. And they'll say, no, even your mother's side of the ancestors was not. You only brought the father's side. But the one who raised your mother also wants to enter. Your grandmother wants to enter now. Then you'll see, no, there's no way. It's better to go to Jesus. And they'll say, no, there was a sorcerer who changed the good ancestor and made it You can change an ancestor and make it by a person who's on earth. I'd rather be safe in my Jesus. I am safe I can't be uh, confused by prophets who are lying I can't be confused by prophets who are lying but if you want to serve them and to follow them that is your business go and follow them we can't take them out of you because we know how risky it is to take something out of you when you don't want us to it's dangerous. It is dangerous to take someone out of something that they still enjoy because they make an alliance with this thing and they come and they destroy you, the one who's taking them out. They can destroy your name and destroy something that you've built up for years because they've made an alliance with a person. I don't just take anything anyhow out of anyone. I just ask you a few questions. And I'll ask you if you're sure if you want to come out. And if you're not sure, I'll leave you. And if you're not sure, I'll leave you. Until you're sure. Right. Until you're sure. Because it costs me to take out the spirit Because many claim that they've entered into a person when they were born. They said, I'm living here. Peace be with you. I'm about to pray.
The God of this world has blinded the minds. He has blinded the minds. And I was speaking with another uh, brethren who even went into the water to go and fetch the snake company. I don't know if he came out with 16 goats. He needed to drink all of the blood and eat their raw meat. He said, I can see that believers are playing, but that side, it's serious. It is do or die. Do you hear what I'm saying? He would drink the blood while it's still warm. And with its saltiness, it would enter into the and eat the raw flesh of the goat. You see, I'm not saying that the devil, goat is a devil, but they eat that raw flesh as it is. There's no gain. I see believers thinking that delivery is a That's why I don't just do it anyhow. That's why when the Holy Spirit says I must do it and when I've dealt with it, I leave it aside. I have to take you to another level. I have to take you to another level. For you to be able to enjoy the benefits of the new era. Of the new era. Because some of you, your mind has not yet been transformed. You like to see the entertainment of and the And they think it's a game when we do it. But it is a hard work. Very hard work. People die when they don't keep the principles. But we know that Jesus has grace. No, Moses, yes. Jesus is merciful. He always forgives us. People who are devil worshippers or who are sorcerers. If you don't do a certain thing on a certain day, you will die. You will die. Do you hear me, brethren? There's a deliverance academy that I'm going to do from the 22nd and 23rd Tuesday and a Wednesday of June for two weeks. For two weeks. Every Tuesday and Wednesday. Tuesday will be here in Inanda and Wednesday in Amlazi. The first and the second. I just want to do that for deliverance for two weeks. For two weeks. I'm going to unravel the person and the spirit and show you things that you don't know about yourself because we need to free you and it's not something that I'm going to do every Tuesday and Wednesday because people get used to it. And and it's, it. it's not something that I'm going to keep doing. And as soon as you are you will pay for it. Because I've seen that when people don't pay for it, I won't give you water or oil, but you'll pay for the knowledge that I'm going to give you. Because when you give people things for free, they take it lightly. It is something that you could just pick up on the side of the road. And then you throw it on the other side of the road. Not because I want your money, committed. but I want you to be committed. I want you to be responsible. Because you are not responsible. Because you're not responsible in your whole in your life. Even if I could teach you something for free, you don't respect it. You don't respect it. When I demonstrate here, others as if they're coming to watch a movie. Others think they're coming to watch a movie. At They'll say when he's speaking to demons and taking them out like this, it's a movie. they think that it's a movie. Okay. And 
it's fine if it's a movie, it's okay. Some, of, some people have been saved through that movie. Do you hear me, brethren? You see, right now I'm going to demonstrate. The devil has hulled and bound the mind. And he's bound the mind through fear. And you'll say no one can come out of here. You come out when you're dead. How do you come out? When you're dead. And the way that the black person struggles. Do you know how the devil demonstrates with people? You see the ones that have gone and sacrificed. You'll see them with money and expensive cars. And they'll go be flying around with money. They don't tell you that these zombies want flesh every day. There's a time when these zombies want the car to be theirs. Others have money, but they can't wear shoes. They go barefoot. They say you can't leave the this world. What you've got only works How can you enjoy a man like if it has so many terms and conditions? Others, their cars won't even last a year or a month. It will just. Be a a year. Year. That, in other words, a person must live. Hey! I prefer my Jesus Christ. I may not have what people want or desire. At this point in time. At this point in time. Go to corner. But there. I will, I will but I have peace. In amazing peace in my heart. As you see me, I have a Everything that I have Everything I have Everything I have got. But other people know for, for sure that there's zombies that are dishing these good things up for them. Girls, please don't be desperate such that you want things. That is dangerous. It will make you meet people that will make you to feel creatures. You have beautiful cars and beautiful But at the end of the day, the creatures are feeding off of you. You have money. But you're not free because when the night comes, you wish it was day again. Because there's something that's feeding off of you all night. Don't be desperate for marriage. For you to throw yourself to anybody. You would rather lose your peace and have money but not have peace. Because the people who are in trouble are the ones. Don't be so desperate that you become blinded. The devil is real out here. Do you hear me, brethren? Do you hear me? Don't be so desperate that you could sell your soul to the devil. Accept your freedom and peace. You understand? Do you understand? There are different ways that, that the devil fights. They are different. Paul even says we are not those who don't know his plans. We know his plans. That you, you can have no money. People will say, ever since I stopped going to church, my things were okay. But who closed up those things at the beginning? I have to look like the I don't have a problem with that. That's fine. You were prosperous. That's what you believe. Then that's okay. And when you came, what happened in your life? And now that you're leaving, now I'm the devil. Who's the one who's actually playing? 
He's trying to paint me as a bad He's bad 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 that when you left me, you were but a bad bad. But that is a lie. I'm doing the very same thing I'm doing the very same thing I did, And you were free. You still gonna get free. It's just that you couldn't be patient. They are trying to pay you. That if you turn your it's back right. on me, that it's okay now. And those are his plans. We know his plans. The mind is being bound. By what? The mind is being bound. For us to fear death. Who fears death? Because if I die, I'll see my father. The death is the way to heaven. Face to face. Death makes me to see God so face to face. So I can't be afraid of death. Because it's the gate that leads me to heaven. I can't throw myself to the gate. The one who I serve defeated death. Do you hear me, brethren? Please don't fear death. If you fear death, that means you owe God. The person that you owe money to, you run away from. If you know that you don't have money to pay them back. Peace be with you. I'm going to demonstrate now. I want to demonstrate how when the devil has bound someone's mind, how does he bind it? He binds it for real. Our people are bound. You see, as I'm speaking about the ancestors, group, there are those who are getting angry. Some are getting fearful. Nothing and no one is going to get damaged or injured. Do you hear me, brother? Do you hear this? There's nothing that's going to get damaged. And there's no one going to get injured in this house. As I'm about to do this demonstration. Do you hear me, brethren? I want to speak with two people who know the reality of this. Peace be with you. Are you with me? Do you hear what I'm saying? This is a spirit. What is it? It is known as the spirit of the serpent. And it was the first spirit that rose up in the Garden of Eden and was saying it was the most sly and most cunning. Do you hear that? The spirit of the serpent. It was the spirit. And it had, it had the most cunning. It was created that way. God creates people who are cunning. No, no, in your. Okay. The snake was created that way to be cunning. Did you not read that? It is the most cunning of all animals. What is that? The snake. It just slithers on the ground. Did you see him? Did you see him today? Eat. Cunning. Amen. I'm going to demonstrate.